Oh my God, I left him alone for like five seconds. Hello, got another comparison video here. Nothing to do with my products today, but I just wanted to go over kind of this quick family that I'm accumulating here. These little dudes. So I just picked this up today and it's the new RMR HD. And it's basically a hybrid between the RMR that we all know and the SRO, which I have liked a lot on the Staccato. I wanted to basically compare these two directly. And this one is kind of, you know, Everybody already kind of knows a little about that one. Then we got the RMR CC, which I don't hear anybody talking about, but it's just a mini RMR with, and it requires for mounting a little plate. So that's why I mount this on Maffin 509 compact. This adapter plate, I make it. So that's going to be kind of out of the conversation. Although, I will bring it up uh, with night vision on, just to see how it how it looks under the nods. And also this. This one actually has three night vision settings. I actually read the manual on this one because I was a little bit curious about the different modes that it has. <clears throat> also, I'm putting this on the staccato which will be kind of set up for night vision with this light and it has a, a bigger window and mostly just because it's new this just came out i kind of want to put the new stuff on that but i was wondering if it was worth even changing the sro for the rmr hd and i guess directly comparing them they are about the same width in glass. If you measure it from the widest part of the circle, right? But the height is obviously less. So I guess over the RMR, you'll have it looks like it's about the same. Let's see. I feel like it, I feel like the window is the same size, guys. I think the window, if it's bigger, it's just a little bit bigger. But I think what makes it feel bigger is the way that it's placed in the how in the, in the chassis body here. Cause you can see here, it goes straight from it's like level with that plane down there, right? So it's lower. And then this, with this step and then this thickness, in here, it's elevated up more so it feels bigger. So it, I guess the, the placement of the glass is better in this one if we're comparing it to an RMR. So I guess comparing it, it would almost be like putting uh, any, uh, like with the modern height mounts, right? Like night vision height mounts on a rifle. This is just a little bit taller off the body, but still gives you the ability to co-witness really good with your uh, irons on your pistol because this hasn't changed. Just the height of the glass has changed to where you don't even see a quarter or something like that of the glass that's behind here, right? So the glass goes under this plane up here. And then with this one, you see it's it's at the same plane. The bottom of the glass is matching with the top of the optic here, whereas this is not. So I guess we're getting the illusion of a bigger window, really, more than getting a bigger window. As to where this is a bigger window, 
and it's at this other height that makes it uh, easier to catch, I guess. <clears throat> so I just learned that with you guys right now. So that's pretty interesting, just the physical aspect of this. So I guess magic, right? So I think this would even look a lot better if you have it on top of a scope or something with the turret height and all. You'll, you'll actually get the most use out of your window. So it's actually more efficient. And then also you'll get the ruggedness of this with this little arc, arch versus this. So it really is a hybrid here. It's like putting this window in this body. And then obviously we have the sensor here, which honestly I haven't had the time to play with. I did mess with the settings a little bit. You just gotta push both buttons. Also, I'm gonna see if I can focus on the reticle. I don't know. There it is. You can switch between reticles by pushing these two buttons. You should probably read the manual, but I'm gonna try and do this here with you guys. And I'm pushing these two buttons. It'll flash and you can cycle. Dot, circle dot, dot, circle dot. And you press it again. One, two, three. Okay, 10 seconds. Now when it starts to go slow like that, the sensor is, it has a high, medium, and low mode. So this will be high adjusting, and this will be low adjusting. And I'm gonna keep it in the middle because I don't know what I want yet. So press the two buttons again. And uh, I don't know what that means. I think that's another mode that I just barely started reading about. And uh, yep, you have your adjustments here. In the night mission mode. So we'll check that under the nods. But yeah. So that was cool. So same window size, I guess. Just different placement in the body. So it really makes it more efficient for viewing. Right? This is still cool though. I still like this. Honestly, I don't shoot enough to like put it through its rugged test. You know, I'm not really putting it through a rugged testing, but um, but I think this does look cooler. And under, you know, under night vision, again, I keep harping on that. I think these buttons will be easier to mess around with than this. Although these are still easy, this is more convenient, more easy than this, right? So I'm gonna put these on some stuffs and we're gonna look through the night vision. Well, I wanted to talk about the RMRCC again. So the RMRCC, it's like uh, not as elevated, I guess, off of the initial mounting plane, right? It's still pretty high up there if you compare it to the to the regular RMR. Obviously, this glass is smaller, I guess, in all dimensions, but I think it is about as efficient as the regular RMR. If you look at it from here on the back, it's the same height, even though the glass is smaller, but it's like, what's the usable glass, right? What's the usable uh, stuff that you're looking at? Because we see this, we line that up with the back, we line this up with the back, the angle is a lot greater. Okay, now we put them on the guns and uh, maybe, okay. So I put the binos behind, in front of the camera and uh, I'm gonna try and get you to see this. So there it is. That is the, I guess this would be the highest setting. So I just dimmed it until I couldn't see it with my eyeball. Now I'm gonna dim it some more. I think that's it because it's making a flash. So that's the lowest, I guess. And then one, two, that's too bright. And I can see that with my eyes. 
So there, I can't see it with my eyes in the dark. And I think that's the lowest. So I guess it depends on your tubes. I can very faintly see that with my eyes. And it looks really bright here. That's the brightest under night vision. And this is the RMR HD. Now we're gonna get the regular RMR. I'm gonna dim it till I can't see it with my own eyes. And this is the dimmest it'll go and I can still see it with my eyes, but it's not like super optimal. And it's getting really bright there. So this one I can see better with my eyeballs. But the lowest it goes, right there, it's super tiny. I don't shoot as enough to be like very proficient with this. So I like the, look at that, that's cool. Still see it around like that. Interesting, super tiny though. That was the RMR. And now we'll look at the RMR CC. Oh, let me brighten, let me dim it. There it is. That's the dimmest. I cannot see it with my eyeball. And then we go a little bit more. Yep. Definitely a little more difficult to, to tap with your fingertips. I don't think this one's meant to be messed around with as much. That's the RMR. CC. And then here we go with the SRO. I'm dimming it down. And I am not very good right now pushing this button. So there it is, super high, super bright. There it is, all the way down. I cannot see it with my eyes. Well, you can't see it here. Make it a little bit brighter. So now I can see with my eyes. Yep. Dim, 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 dim. So it's like one night setting. And then the other one is super bright, which kind of looks cool. So I really am digging. This version. Now with the illuminator, this is the vampire light. Let me see. I'm gonna turn this up. I'm gonna turn it to maybe that setting. And then we got the illuminator. So that's kinda interesting. It's like a reflection of the Interesting. Look at that. Too bright. Just enough. That's the highest brightness. Illuminator. We'll go inside now. So overall, I really like the RMR HD. I think it looks cooler. I think the buttons are easier to mess with, honestly. You, you can use like the pad of your finger versus the tip, uh, the tip, right? I mean, I think, I don't know. You could use it on these two, but this is just easier, right? So you have easier buttons that I kind of don't think will be negligently pressed unless there's some very specific way that you're wearing it. I think that the position of the glass has been optimized, right, for the size to, to be able to catch it as far as viewing through the optic versus concealability, right? 
then also it's more rugged than this one which also has the bigger glass so optimized placement more rugged than this one and also the reticle for me is usually easier to see under uh night vision and stuff right it has the three night vision settings which i think are better than the ones that these come with especially because i chose such a small dot on these guys you know now the only issue that i have personally is that i had modified my my safari land holster in here to fit the uh, sro and then now i can't fit it in here so i'm gonna have to get back in there and dremel a little bit more although it's pretty close it's kind of stuck now and i need to figure out where well i'll figure that out on my own hold on let me get it out big shame big shame all right so i'll figure that out i'm sorry i'm sorry staccato i'm gonna get you out i promise have a good day. Bye. A family portrait.